What's up, Elk Shape Gear Channel people? This is Tyler Denham. He is basically one of my best friends ever. I've known him since he was in diapers, or I guess I was in diapers too. Uh, anyways, we have a long history. We've been hunting together. He's the kind of guy you want to hunt with. You don't have to worry about anything other than that. Just know he'll be fine, and uh, he would drop everything to help you pack out, vice versa. Uh, you always seem to have really good gear choices, and that's why I finally it was like, you should come on this channel. Plus, he's not sponsored by anyone, so what he speaks is the truth. I am sponsored. I'm a liar. I'm joking. <laughs> but we're going to go over our kill kits today because you guys asked us to, so that's what we're going to do. All right. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. This is a very, I'm a very basic guy. I don't carry a lot of frills. This is the Black Ovis game bags. They're lightweight synthetic game bags. I just stick everything I need into one of the smaller game bags, roll it up and stick it in the bottom of my pack. I like to carry a couple of uh, nitrile gloves. Those are like they're from the fire department. They're not. They're actually mechanic gloves. Ah, see, I'm glad I asked. They're a little bit thicker, tougher than the regular okay, ones. This is a gangster move. And then these are, they're just the... Uh, cheapos? Cheapos from Costco. Do you... I, I buy a lot of stuff from Costco. Will's Lament, you get like, I don't know, six pairs in a package. Um, and then I like, because I don't like getting blood all over my packs, I like to carry a large black garbage sack. I, this is probably one of the Costco ones um, for yard debris. And then there should be at least four, four of the same size bags. Are those the large bags or the extra large? Uh, they're the elk size ones. XLs. So if you ran the larges, you would not, you'd have to debone your meat. You're not getting an elk with the bone in. So get the XLs from Black Ovis. And then, yeah, I, it's just the Black Ovis kit. I lost that bag somewhere. And so I just shove it all into one of these. Roll it up and stick it in the bottom of my pack. Um, also, you gotta have some sort of cord for once you get once you get a quarter into a bag, I like to hang it up somewhere on a limb, a tree, something, and that's where this comes in. A little 550 paracord? Yep. All right, so we're going to pull out bag. This is in the bottom of my pack, so hopefully I get to see this all the time. The general kill kit. So first thing is I have a little Kufaru tag wallet, so all my tags are in here. I'll cover those up so you can't see where, but <laughs> we got tags. We got license and my hunter safety proof, which some states you got to carry. I have an inReach so I can inReach Tyler, the location, and say BBD, Big Bull Down, please help. <laughs> uh, flagging, I generally, once I take a shot, I'll flag where I stood. Uh, once I've given enough time, I'll go down, flag where the animal stood and spun. I will look for my arrow so I can find the clues, treat it like a crime scene. Um, we've done a lot of videos and content in the past on like good protocols to follow once you make the shot. Uh, in the knife situation here, I only have three knives that two are the pack lights. So this is the field one, showing them that. Very light, you can even make it even more skeletonized. This is new for 2023 from Buck Knives. Um, oh, dust in there. Uh, this is the cape. I rarely cape an animal out, but it is nice to have a knife like that for doing some skinning and whatnot. I do think in that series they make a butchering knife, which I'll go grab here in a second, and it's what I butcher with. They have four knives in the series, I would get all four, but basically the cape in the field is what I take to the field, and then this is kind of like your tried and true. This is the Alpha Pro Scout. This is um, really nice for cutting up an animal. See that jimping right there? Mm -hmm. so you, you can put your thumb, it's got a little place for your thumb, and you can really work that over. You should show the folks at home. Buck knives. That one says elk shape on it. That's from elk shape camps. They don't come like that. Alpha hunter and the alpha scout. Check both of those out. One's a little bit bigger than the other. But they're both awesome. And they're new for 2023. And then in this little kill kit from Black Ovis. I don't really want to open it. Because it's packaged up super nice. But I'll tell you what's in here. There's four XL game bags. 
so I don't have to, I can leave the bone in. There's an extra game bag that's um, so four for four quarters, and then an extra one for like loose meat, neck meat. I'm a huge neck meat guy for a burger, and uh, I think there's even one other extra bag if you end up throwing like the cape in. The one thing I am missing is at least one garbage sack. A lot of times I'll put a garbage sack in my hoodlum from Kifaru and then I'll put the quarter in so I don't get it all bloody mm -hmm. um, or minimize that. I need to add that. And then I have a tarp in here for laying out um, meat on a tarp. That is from Base Camp spelled with a K. So B-A-S-E-K-A-M-P, Base Camp. And it's a little tarp that actually can serve multiple purposes. I primarily use it for a, a place to butcher an animal by myself and make sure that the meat does not get dirty, especially when you're taking that rear quarter off an elk mm -hmm. by yourself. You can get that tarp <laughs> hanging out and then you get it and it falls right onto the tarp. Again, no meat should have dirt on it. Uh, and then there's some plastic gloves in here, some nitrile gloves. I think there's two sets in here. So that's what's in my kill kit. What's in your kill kit? What did we miss? Comment below while you're at it. Click the subscribe button. It helps us. We'll catch you on the next one.